Here is an overview of the Quickly Design Library, a cloud-based resource with infinite possibilities. Design, exchange, share and sell all your creations in a community-based atmosphere. Creating has never been so easy. The Quickly Design Library and Community Libraries are available by default without a cloud access, so make sure to check them out. Here we are in the Gutenberg Editor. To access the Quickly Design Library, simply head over to the upper left-hand corner in the header bar where you will find the Quickly Design Library icon. From there, you will be able to navigate all the categories that are available in the Quickly Design Library. With simple click, you can navigate through all popular, button, composition, and so on. There is a large selection of designs already available in the Quickly Design Library, and we are waiting for you to share your designs in the Quickly Community Library. Once your choice has been made on a design, simply click on it and it will be automatically imported into the editor. From there, you can make the changes that you like to the block and design and hit save. That's how easy it is to use the design library. Following Quickly's philosophy, every design is plastic, which means that in my case, I would like to add another button to this getting started one. Well, I simply select the parent div, go to the button category, find a design that suits my needs. In this case, let's go with Kira square button, click on it, it is automatically imported and there we have it, a design that suits what I wanted and was created in a matter of instance. As you can see, the Quickly Design Library is available at all instances and doesn't disappear when adding or removing a design. This helps you in your creative process and helps you accelerate your workflow. Whether you have built your block from scratch, have downloaded it from the Quickly Design Library or the community, or have made some changes to an existing design, you may want to save your block to your own cloud library so that you can access it from this installation, but also any installation you add this specific library to. So to do so, let's create a new design library that will be personal to us, but can be shared if needed to other users of our choice. In order to be able to save your styles and designs to the Quickly Cloud, make sure to create an account at design.quickly.com. This account will be able to store all your libraries and styles and designs that you upload to the cloud. You can either log in directly from the login screen or register an account if you don't already have one. In my case, I'm going to log in. Once logged in, you will find the list of libraries on your account. In my case, I don't have one yet, so let's create a library. Simply click on Create Library, give your library a familiar name, and click on Create Library. Once created, you will see your newly created library appear in the library listing. You will see that there is a public and private key, as well as settings for your library. Public keys are useful for sharing your library. Public keys allow users to visualize and import your designs, but they cannot edit or delete designs or styles from the said library. To do this, a private key is what is useful. A private key gives full access and editing powers over your designs and styles to you or the user you share the keys with. You will use private keys most of the time when you are designing and editing designs that you want to save to the cloud. Finally, if you want to control access to your library on a more specific level, you can use access keys. An access key is just like a public key, but can be removed at any time, thus removing access to your library instantly. Access keys are not limited in number, which means that you can create an unlimited number of access keys, share them and then remove specific access whenever needed. 
you can regenerate your public and private keys by simply clicking on the regenerate icon. This will give you a fresh public and private key, thus removing all access from previous installations. From the library listing, you can edit your library name, download the complete collection of designs directly in a zip file, and finally delete your library if you choose to do so. Once deleted, there is no possibility to retrieve the information. If you want to separate your designs for different projects, clients, users, etc., don't forget that you can create additional libraries following the same process as before. It is also important to note that you can change your public name that appears in the library by simply specifying the community nickname. Let's now add this library to my installation. I will want to add designs to this library, so I will use the private key. But in the instance that I just wanted to access the library, I would use the public key. Here we are in the Gutenberg editor. Let's access the quickly design library and click on add library. From there, paste the key you copied earlier and make sure to toggle is private key, since this is a private key. In the instance, we were adding a public key, we will not toggle the private key option. To add the library, simply click on connect. There you have it, your library has been added to the editable libraries collection. I can now use the library selector and see that the library I have just added is there, new. Let's now save the design we modified earlier to the newly added design library. Let's click on the cloud icon, which will open the Add to Design Library modal. Let's specify a name, a category, a tag, and finally, a style. You can also specify a featured image if you prefer uploading your own featured image of the block. Otherwise, a block preview will automatically be generated by Quickly, which will then be shown to users on the library. The Viewport Width option modifies the scroll thumbnail view. You can choose to attach your global styles that you currently have on this installation, specify whether the block is insertable or not, and finally, if you are sharing this design to the community or not. Let's now save this design to the library by clicking on Save to Library and clicking on the library we added earlier. Once saved, you will receive a confirmation that it has been saved to the library. To make sure it has, let's go and see our newly added design. Make sure to select your library in the library selector go to the old category, and there we have it. Our design is now available in our newly created library. You can add as many designs, styles as you like. If you want to modify the name or the category of your block, simply click on the edit button, which will then bring up a small popover, which will allow you to change the name, the category, the tags and the styles, but also the featured image if you want. Click on Modify or Cancel to apply the changes or not. You can also download the text version of the design so that you can upload it easily on another installation if you don't have access to the library. Finally, if you want to delete the design from your library, simply click on Delete. It will instantly be deleted and non-retrievable. We'd love to see your designs in the Quickly Community Library. Please bear in mind that if you do upload your design to the community library, there will be a slight delay between it appearing in the community library to allow for moderation and control. And that's how the Quickly Cloud Design Library works.